So I'm with my dear friend Kelly Kruger. So I'm so excited we're going to see you as Mac this week on YNR. Okay. Yes. So what happened when they said, hey, do you want to come back as Mac? What? Okay, well, they were like, is she interested? And I was like, how is that even a question? Absolutely, 100%, 1 million percent. I was just so, so many emotions went through me because, you know, Mac was always a really important character to me. Uh, this show was always such an important place to me. This is a family that's just, no matter how many years have passed, that those bonds are there. So it was a no-brainer. I was like, yes, and I was so excited. It was as if, like, I was just told that, I don't know, the best thing in the world, that you, best news you could have gotten was that. Oh my God. I got really, really, like, overly <laughs> excited. Well, it's amazing. So then you come back, and of course, JT has now been revealed to have a abusive side, and I have a feeling Mac knew about this. She may have. She may have. I think she there might be have. a little something. Maybe, um, maybe a little something. So does she help fill in the pieces? Yes. She, she's gonna help probably um, give Victoria, Victoria some, some important information. That, uh, yeah. Yeah. She left him, she had left him and took the child. Well, right now, I think what we know what is we know. Um, that she has uh, filed for sole custody of the children. Right. We don't know why, but obviously there's a good reason because it's Mac, and Mac would never. She's not a liar. She's not a liar, nor would she ever want to hurt anybody unwarrantedly. If that's a word. Un unwarrantedly. <laughs> is that a word? I don't know um, what that's a word. Jeannie Cooper's not here with us today, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that's just so um, hard. So talk to me about Jeannie because you played her granddaughter. I played her granddaughter and I got to tell you like in makeup there's a giant life-size photo of her and I took like a couple photos. It's, it's really emotional. Um, you know she was like my real grandmother. So you come back and you're and you feel you still feel her presence here very much but it's also something's really missing because her Jeannie yeah. you know she's just not here and it, it's um it's really sad it makes me really like it feels like my grandmother's not here that's how I feel like because I was so dear friends with her mm -hmm. so it, I every time I come to something like this you know I go right to that you know yeah. not right but I mean obviously in the celebration but oh she was such an important key part of the fabric of the show such an important key and um, you know I always I, I, I didn't realize this until I came back but she gave me probably the best acting tip back when I was a kid like you know I was a teenager when I was on the show and I realized it again when I came back that I have that in my head and it was from her all these years ago because this was my first job really right mm -hmm. and she always said because you know on soaps you work a lot of episodes in a week there's always tomorrow and she looked at me and she said act every scene like it's the last scene you're ever gonna do and it stuck with me forever because you know people take advantage of Oh, oh, I don't need to do this today. Yeah, like, oh, oh if I, I phone it in today, today. Well, I, there's always tomorrow, and I have a million episodes, and I can always make up for it. But if you treat every ep every scene like it's the last scene you're ever going to do, you're going to bring so much heart and soul and just be there and do it justice. And, you know, it stuck with me for all these years. It's a great, great, great piece of advice. Yeah. Kelly Krueger, yes. so good to see you. So good to see you. Happy 45th anniversary, Y&R. Happy 45th.